What is going on guys? Griffin here back with another video today from my hotel room here in Independence, Missouri on my week little trip for training for my new job. Um, first and foremost, I want to apologize for any technical difficulties last night for those of you that watched the stream or might have watched the video since it has uploaded after the stream. I went back and looked at it today. I just got off of training about an hour ago. It's 5 o'clock now. Um, and I noticed throughout the entire video, I fast forward like every 5 or 10 minutes to see if it got better. And the audio quality was good and whatnot, but the video quality was pretty poor on my part. Um, it's just this internet is just so slow here. Um, it's not the slowest that I've had at a hotel or anything, but it's just not up to par for doing live stream So before I do another live stream if I do one here for the rest of the week I might just wait till the weekend when I get back home But if I do feel like doing another live stream, I'll probably test the internet speed Before I do it just to be safe, but yeah, I'll just get right into the video now That's it for the little apology and you know what I did today um Today, we're going to be talking about how you can make money online with literally little to no money to your name. So let's say you're barely scraping by every month, scraping the bottom of the bucket, and you're just wanting to make 2017 a different year. You want to get out of your day-to-day, -day, whatever kind of job you're working, part-time job, full-time, shitty paying job, and you want to prosper this year. It's not a get rich quick or anything. It takes, I mean, you can if you have, the more money you have, the easier it is. But if you're starting out with like a $20 bill like I did, it's going to take a lot of hours, a lot of learning, a lot of blood, sweat, tears. I mean, it's just like any kind of business. You have to put a lot of dedication into it. And with such little money, you have very little wiggle room to fuck up. And, I mean, that's the good thing about this business is it's really hard to fuck up unless if you just flat out didn't do any homework and don't know what you're doing. So, first and foremost, what I want you to do is <clears throat> if you haven't ever sold on eBay, Amazon, FBA, Craigslist, any of that, obviously go through my videos right now that I have. I have like 50-something up now. Not all are about eBay and Amazon, FBA, but I have about 20 strictly on how to resell and all of that. That's how I started my YouTube channel was off of Amazon, FBA, and eBay. Go through, see what I did, see what worked, see what software I was using, how I would do my sourcing, and go from there. But I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to get started now. So let's say you only have 20 bucks to spare. If you don't have $20, don't do it. Just wait until you get $20. Um, take your $20 bill. If you live in a warmer area like Florida, California, anywhere in the deep south where it's warm and there's garage sales all the time, I want you to go garage selling. If you have a smartphone, download um, the app is called, um, I think, Garage Sale Treasure or something like that. Just any garage sale app will do. One that will pick up all ads for garage selling that are online in your area. Download it and hit up every and do homework on those garage sales, see which ones have books, see and if they um, go into detail, make sure there's like textbooks, learning kind of books, um, fiction, stay away from for the most part. Right now you want to focus on nonfiction, like educational book, <clears throat> educational books essentially. And also electronics is kind of iffy. I would stay away from electronics for now. For now I would stick with um, books, um, maybe some video game. If you're going to dip in electronics, I'd say video games. You can go into that if you know about video games. But for the most part, you're going to want to stick in books and clothing. And why? Because these are the cheapest. You can go to a garage sale. I went to a garage sale. I should have did a video on it when it happened, but it wasn't that great of a sale at the end of the day. But I got this big ass bucket of books <clears throat> for five bucks and there was like 50, at least 50 books in there so you do the math that's like what pennies a book essentially so I mean you take pennies and turn it into dollars you're already starting to make profit so you see where I'm going there and you're not gonna put the books on eBay you're actually gonna do the books with Amazon through Amazon FBA 
Um, and I'll explain Amazon FBA in a future video. I already have before in previous videos, but if you don't want to go all the way back through, don't worry about it. Just tune in tomorrow and I'll more than likely have a video up on what is Amazon FBA and how to get started in it, <clears throat> how much does it cost and whatnot. But books, you'll just simply have your books, you'll label them, throw them in a box, send them off to Amazon FBA, start collecting your money every two weeks from Amazon on what books sell. And that's where, yeah, I mean, Amazon, the Amazon FBA video is going to be a pretty long video because there's just so much homework you have to do when you're sourcing books. You want to make sure you're getting books that are profitable, um, that you're making at least double or triple your money. If you pay 50 cents for a book, you definitely want to make after Amazon FBA fees, you want to be clearing 250 at the minimum. <clears throat> but yeah, so definitely take your $20 bill, go to a garage sale. Now, if you're in cold ass Missouri, like me, or anywhere that's not luckily in the South, then you're going to go to thrift stores. And you can do this if you're in the South too, obviously. You're going to go to your thrift stores. That'd be your Goodwill, Savers, um, Value Villages, whatever you have. Um, you're going to go to those and you're going to look up book sales that are in your area. Like me, I live in Columbia, Missouri. It's a huge college town. There's book sales every weekend. So, I mean, if I want to, I can go have a heyday every weekend at book sales. Now, if I go every week, I usually end up wearing it out and there's no books after about a month straight, four weeks in a row going. So, then I have to let it build back up and then go again. But, um, hit up your thrift stores. And the thrift stores already know about resellers. That's why their prices continue to go up. But their prices go up, our prices go up. I mean, it's just... I look at it as inflation at the end of the day, but um, so go to thrift stores. That's a really good place to find your clothing. And what I mean by clothing is um, like suits, suit jackets, blazers, sports coats, whatever you want to call them. Um, high end clothes, clothes that are hard to find. Um, I have videos about clothing on eBay as well. I think I have one or two videos. I'll come out with another video in the future about how to do that. That's not specifically my forte. Um, I'm not that great at it. I don't do I mean, I'm not horrible at it, but I don't do it often enough to give a lot of advice. But I'll definitely be sure to throw a video out there on how to do your basic research to make sure that um, you're not picking up, like you don't just go into Goodwill and pick up 10 coats thinking, oh, these are only $12. I'm going to sell each one for 20 to 40 No, that's not how it works. You're not... It, you, you have to do brand research, see how often the brand has sold, for how much, how many times. There's just a lot, and I'll get into that in a future video, hopefully this week as well, since I have plenty of time. But yeah, so definitely take your $20, just spend it wisely, start out on eBay like I did, because um, you're probably not going to be able to afford the Amazon FBA right off the bat, because I'll just tell you right off the bat, it's $40 a month. For the best FBA, there's a free one, but you can only sell like 50 items per month. And then after that, Amazon starts, I don't even know if it's 50, it might be less, but I think it's 50 items a month. And then after that, Amazon starts charging even more. I mean, it's just not worth it at the end of the day. You just want to go all in the $40 and just go. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll get into that more tomorrow. But um, just pretty much take your $20, go to garage sales, thrift stores, um, book sales, and just check everything out. Do your research. Use the eBay app. The eBay app has a barcode scanner on it. It'll use your camera. And if there's a barcode, scan it. If not, it sucks. But just do it by hand. Type in whatever it is you're looking at. Filter your results. Go into filter and then hit um, options or something like that and do it where the items have already been, the bids are completed and the items that have sold and it'll pull up how many of that item has sold, what date they sold, for how much they sold. If you see something that's only sold once and like once a blue moon, like once a week or more, Stay away from it, even if it makes if it makes you a stupid huge profit and it has shown that price over and over, 
it's just up to you. I wouldn't with with having twenty dollars to your name, you're looking for the quick flip making five dollars off like three dollars off one dollar. Cause I mean think about it. if you can make three dollars off every dollar you spend, you just turn twenty bucks into sixty dollars. And I'm talking about after eBay fees, all that shit. Cause I know there's people that are gonna be like, Well, you gotta talk about eBay fees. Yeah, I'm talking about after all fees and everything. Let's say you turn one dollar into three, twenty times at sixty dollars, you just made a forty dollar profit. So then you can start spending more and more and more. But for now, filter it to items that are sold, see how often it's sold. If it has sold more than like four or five in a week, if it's like consistently selling more than five a week, and it can make you a good three to ten or more if you get lucky profit. Go on ahead and pick it up and take a risk on it. I mean, it's not even that big of a risk because at the end of the day, it's only a dollar in this example. But don't go out. Just do not go out and see that, oh, this is $5 and it's sold for 30 and it's only sold once in the last six months. Like, don't do that. Stay away from stuff like that. It's just not worth it, especially this early. So that's pretty much all the advice I can give you guys for today is just with a $20 bill, Go into your book sales, thrift stores, and garage sales if you live in a warm area where garage sales are still going on. And just grind, grind it. Do your research, see what items they have at the garage sales ahead of time. Type in every item that you have to on eBay. It's going to take some time. It's really bad at the beginning because you're just getting used to doing everything, getting used to typing a lot and whatnot, doing a lot of research. But after about a week or two of doing it, it starts just becoming secondhand nature like me. I'll be like filing through stuff while typing on eBay at the same time. Like it just becomes secondhand nature and you learn ways to do it quicker. So yeah, turn that 20. Your goal for this week by next Monday is to have spent your $20 and have already sold at least two items. I want you to have sold two items by next week depending on what time you see this video. Anytime you see this video, I want you to take action, no matter if you see it today or two months from now. If you want, take your $20 bill, go make go make it happen this week, and I want to hear what two items you guys have sold one week from seeing this video, no matter if it's today or one year from now. Whenever you see this video, I want to hear a response from you guys in one week on what two items you have sold, how much you paid for those items, and how much profit you made after eBay fees and everything. So definitely be sure to leave those in the comments below. And I will probably see you guys tomorrow on more about Amazon FBA. If you're new to the channel and you like this advice, definitely be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe as always if you're new to the channel because I'm definitely getting back into the swing of things and uploading a lot more often. Like I said, another video probably coming out tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a good night.